did it. I got called that shit. It's how What's going on guys? Hope this game is here, but we're working on it. My name is Jamie. This is Jacob. Today we're doing our terminal camper hotspots with the throwing knife. We're calling the bio spike the throwing knife. It's just so much easier. Uh, and our sniper lines of sight. That's right, we're gonna start off with the guys here. This is also a spawn shot, so you've got the guys camping there that do the lanes down the hall, but then also you can get it for spawn, so once you see them there, run down the bottom here. It's a real easy to line up shot. You just push in between the plant and the end of the plant box. Just move on in there until you hit that. Then you wanna look up and see this little gap here? You wanna line your reticle up uh, pretty much just in the corner of that triangle there. Uh, throw away across the map, should go over, land perfectly in their spawn, um, and then hopefully pick up a few kills. This is one of the most ridiculous shots. It cuts so close to three walls before getting a bank off the floor and then hitting the players there, so it's really nice. The next one is down here. Where, this is where we'll be pushing in, but first I'll show you where we're throwing to. It's the guys who camp in the cafe there. I'm nearly there. Uh, now, <laughs> so it doesn't really matter uh, how far back they are, if they're all the way in the back of the cafe or if they're at the front desk there, because this goes across the whole thing. We're pushing in the back of this little pottery plant here. Um, once you've done that, you're looking up in the sky, I think to this one, is that right? That's correct. That's the one there. Once you've aimed onto that little, uh, what would you call that, roof slat? Yeah, I think um, that's pretty accurate. You pretty much just let go and it goes again really close to everything and cuts in between the poles. This one I kind of found just by lining up where those two poles were and finding a middle distance. It's really, really easy because the... in there that's a really sick shot. The final shot we're looking at is down the hallway where throwing from where we actually got killed by the first shot down to the guys who camp behind the little waterfall and uh, plant there. If you just turn around and jump up on these boxes, you can't be seen from here. You're just gonna make sure this shiny side of the, the square pole there disappears. And once it's done, you can turn around and look in the sky. There's this weird little uh, roof thing. If you go to the right of that and just go straight up, follow this line here that's like a panel of the roof, and you're just lining up right in the middle of it, in between this point here and that point there. Um, so once you've lined that up, if you want to make sure it's absolutely perfect, you can switch to a sniper and the top reticle, if I sort of make that move so you can see it, is touching that bar up there in between the stars. So once you release that, that should get a nice little bank shot and land square on the guys standing down there. It's one of the coolest shots we've come up with. Woo! How'd that feel? Very in-depth tutorial. I mean, it's a hard it's shot. A, it's a hard shot, we'll admit that. It's a very cool shot at the same time. So if you really want to get that right, you have to follow those instructions. Pretty pinpoint. Pause the video, of course, if you really need help with it, but it's really cool. Now, we have some sniper lines of sight, as we always do. We're going to go with three for this map. Where I think three is going to be the, the go-to uh, for three uh, Infinite Warfare. Right. This one, you're going to be in the back spawn here behind the security screening section, and you're just coming up to this little snack shack here and all you're doing is aiming down through into the blue room and you can get the easiest shot there you're barely noticeable if you're getting the guys on this side of the pole you're not noticeable noticeable at all but if you're on this side you can get picked up a little easier next one goes to the restaurant or the snack bar uh, this one is for the guys that camp more towards the front counter um, you can just kind of headshot them from there um, where Jacob is there so he's kind of hidden in that back room um, near the near the uh, scanners as well and it's just a nice line of sight straight through there you can strafe across as well and hit the guys coming around the corner um, from the waterfall side as well um, and then we've got one more final shot for you guys yeah this last one is um, hidden behind the plane here and we're gonna be using uh, this little guy here this box this cargo box to see up into that window there and those two windows there so you can just use it to duck behind and then just use the little gap to shoot through the line of sight. Again, if they're in that window, you can push back, kind of strafe along the sides to pick them out. And um, if you look at Jacob's screen right now, it's like, just zoom out. Yeah, you got no idea where I am. You'd never know. Unless you saw them walk across there, you wouldn't even know about it. But yeah, that's just a little uh, little bit to get you guys going on Terminal if you're enjoying it for the third time around. <laughs> if you do enjoy our tutorials, uh, there is a button for that. You can click on that. Otherwise, we'll always be hopeless. You can join the hopelessness by clicking also, the subscribe. Yeah. I mean, you can also tell us what map you want us to do next. That'd be yeah, nice. in the comment section down below. Otherwise, we'll always be hopeless, and we'll see you in the next one. 